Well, today we're gonna learn how to make chicken pozole. So this is the ingredients we're gonna use to make our chicken pozole. So for starters, we're gonna put, we have two full chickens and we have them cut and we're gonna wash them and put them to cook. And when we put them to cook, we're gonna put a full teaspoon of sea salt. We're gonna put a half a teaspoon of oregano. We're gonna put a half of an onion. We're gonna put a full head of garlic. And then we're gonna put two leaves of, two bay leaves for flavor. And that's what we're gonna use to put our chicken to cook. So those are the first ingredients we're gonna use. And the chicken's gonna cook for about 45 minutes so it could fully cook. And um, those are the ingredients we're gonna use to cook our, our chicken. Once our chicken is um, cooked, we're gonna make a uh, green chili. So I'm gonna use um, six chili pots and this one's our use our California chili pots. And um, what I do, I I take the stem, the stem from the top off. So we take it off and then we open the chili and then we take out all the seeds and then we clean it. And once we clean our six chiles, we're gonna put our water, our water to boil and then we're gonna put our chili pots in there so they could soften and then we're gonna make the chili sauce. We're, we're only gonna add a little piece of onion. We're gonna put a piece of um, garlic and a little bit of salt, half of a teaspoon of salt and we're gonna make our, our chili sauce for our pozole. So it's gonna be red chili sauce pozole, chicken pozole. And then to garnish our, um, not to garnish for when we're done eat, um, cooking our, pos our pozole, our chicken pozole, we're gonna eat it with optional. We have rabanos that we use and then we're gonna cut the cabbage and then we're gonna eat it with chips and then we're gonna, in our pozole, we're gonna add hominy. So we're gonna, once our chicken is um, fully cooked, we're gonna add the hominy and then we're gonna cook it for another 10 minutes with the hominy and the chili so I could get that, that flavor of the chili and the hominy. We're gonna cook it. So that's what we're gonna need to make our pozole, our chicken pozole. And now, um, additional, I'm gonna make a salsa for our pozole. So we're gonna use five large green tomatoes and we're gonna use all this, um, this chili pots and they're called chili pots arbol, which means tree. And we're gonna use all these ones. And then we're gonna use half of a teaspoon of salt a piece of garlic and uh, two little pieces of onion to give it flavor. So this is what we're gonna use to make our, our salsa for our pozole. So we're gonna get started. We're gonna fill up our pot of, of water and then we're gonna wash our chicken and then we're gonna start cooking it. And thank you for coming to my channel. I hope you like my recipe. This is a chicken pozole in red sauce with hominy and it's gonna taste delicious. We have our chicken, we already washed it and cut everything, all the skin off and we washed it really nice and now we're gonna put it to cook. And now that we're gonna put it to cook, we already turned it on at medium high, we're gonna add the half of an onion and we're gonna put the whole garlic in there and then we're gonna put We're gonna add the teaspoon of sea salt and the two um, bay leaves. And then we're gonna cover it and we're gonna let it cook for about 40, 45 minutes. But it, once it boils, we're gonna come and clean out all the debris that is, is being released by the chicken. And so here we put our tomatoes to cook. We're gonna put them to boil so we can make our salsa. Clean our chili pots. We cut the stem from the top and we took up all the, we're taking out all the um, seeds from the inside. So as soon as we get some, we're gonna boil some water and then we're gonna let them sit on boiling water for about five minutes. So we could just loosen up the skin of the chili pots so we can make the salsa for our pozole. So see, we already took all the stems out. 
and as soon as our water boils we're gonna put our chili pots in there so they could loosen up and then we're gonna make our salsa for our pozole now we're just roasting our peppers we just want to give it a little bit of roasting to bring out the flavors of the peppers so we're gonna make our sauce with our green tomatoes for our pozole this is not sauce that this is not the red sauce that we put inside the the, the pozole this is what we put optional we're just gonna make our red salsa so yeah we use this little um peppers we call them um chile de arbol which is uh peppers of tree they're called in spanish so what we do is just roast them a little bit to bring out the flavors and then we're gonna make our salsa so we're gonna put it in the blender and in the blender we're gonna put so in the blender we're gonna put our garlic we're gonna put a onion and then we're gonna put a, a teaspoon of sea salt so I dropped it and um and that's that's what we're gonna do and now the now that we're roasting our peppers see you see how they're starting to brown a different color now we're gonna turn it turn off the turn it off and now we're gonna put them to make our sauce So now we're gonna blend this. We're gonna put about half a cup of water. So see, we put half a cup of water and now we're gonna put it in the blender. What we're gonna do first, we're gonna blend our, our peppers with our garlic and onion and salt. And we wanna give it a good blending. So now that we now that we blended our peppers now we're gonna add our green tomatoes so we boil them and now we're gonna mix them This is our red sauce for our pozole. Smells fantastic. Let's see. We're going to put it in our mason jar. And this is our salsa for our pozole. So we're gonna taste it. Tastes good. Has a lot of flavor. Has a little kick to it, yes. Now we're gonna make the red sauce for, for our pozole. So we put a piece of onion. We're gonna put one garlic. And then we're gonna put our peppers. So we're putting the peppers that we that we put on the water and it softened up all the skin and now we're gonna make the salsa and this is the the red sauce that we put into the pozole so now we're gonna put a teaspoon of half of a teaspoon of salt sea salt and we're gonna put Half of a teaspoon of oregano. And then we're going to put a little bit of pepper. 
And now we're gonna put like a cup of water. The water that we used to boil, that we boil so we could soften the, so we put a cup of water in there. And this is the red chili sauce that's gonna give the color to our pozole. Now we're gonna, we're gonna give it a good blend. So here's our pozole. We already cooked it for another 20 minutes. Once we added the the hominy and the the red sauce, and it's it's ready. It's fully cooked. Um, in total time to cook this, it took us two hours, and everything's like it smells wonderful. And I already taste the soup. So I took a little bit out like this and then I let it cool a little bit and then I taste it and it's delicious. It has such good flavor and it's, it's ready. We're just going to let it cool down and then we're going to serve it. And this is my recipe on how to make chicken pozole. So here we are, we finished um, making our chicken pozole. So we serve ourselves, and then we added cabbage and then we added some of the sauce that we made. So here's the sauce. So we add some of the sauce into our pozole to make it spicy. And we eat it with chips and we add lemon and then we have radishes to um, eat it with. And we're adding lemon and now we're gonna taste it. Smells wonderful. So here it is. We're gonna taste it. Mmm. Delicious. Mm-hmm. Hope you like my recipe and thank you for coming to my channel. Once again, this is my homemade pozole, but made of chicken. And I made it because my sister is allergic to pork and she asked me to make her some pozole, but of chicken. And, um, and it tastes delicious. It's almost, it tastes the same, but it's just what made with chicken instead of pork. It tastes fantastic. And thank you for coming to my channel.